Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're going to talk about when to change the fluids on your vehicle. That's right, when to change your motor oil. Right here, when to change your transmission fluid, and when to change your gear lube. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell, that way you'll be able to come back and watch a lot more videos on educating you on how to get your vehicle to run longer and stay longer. That's what we do here on the channel. So today we took a trip down to Boulder Highway, one of the hottest places in Las Vegas. Come on over here, take a look. We're here down here in Boulder Highway. As you can see way up this way, we're here in Henderson, Nevada. And this is one of the hottest places in the world. So today we're going to start off with brake fluid. Go ahead and take a look at this video clip of flushing the brake fluid. You want to change this every single year. If you live somewhere where it's a little cooler out, you can do it every two years. But really, you should be changing your brake fluid every year. Slowly pump here. Got that. And now this is going to get out all the old fluid. So that's our first step. So all we do is start pumping, sucking out our old brake fluid. And you can see it's not that dark. Getting close. And let your foot back up. Push. All right, we're back after about 15 minutes. And man, this thing took like 30 pumps. Um, so this really holds a lot of fluid in here. So go ahead and uh, push. So you can see it's a lot clearer now. Let your foot back up. Push. So now we're on to transmission. This right here is the fluid that circulates through your car and what allows it to shift. It's like hydraulic fluid. And what this does is this has to flow in high heat. It has to flow in cold temperature. Well, stop and go traffic here. You hear the car stopping, you hear them going. Well, every time you stop and go, these plates rub together and they burn and oxidize the fluid. Well, the higher quality fluid you run, like an AMS oil, it's good for double the severe service of an OEM fluid. Now out here in high heat, the breakdown is exponential which means for every 18 degrees hotter, your transmission fluid runs and oxidizes at twice the rate. So look, look at the blacktop, take a look. Our blacktop temperature, 130 degrees out. It's a 110 degree day. Now where the blacktop's darker, it's even hotter. Take a look at the temperature of the paint. Watch this, 130. The windows, 110. So it's very, very hot. So I wanted to mention how important it is. Now take a look at this video here on the transmission fluid change on my car and this other car. This is a CVT transmission. Take a look at both of these videos. Up coming out, Steven goes, it's effing blue. <laughs> so we actually did this same service on a S550 Mercedes and uh, it made a huge difference in shifting. So I'm excited to see what this sucker so we'll let her drain down for a minute, and then we drop in the pan. Thing you have uh, pressure and heat and normal wear. Yep. So this one looks good enough to reuse. Yeah, these are reusable. Beautiful. It's uh, what ten hours a day, Steve? Yeah, pretty much. So pretty why why don't you recommend doing the flush usually? Well, I've seen more often than not you hook up a one of these flush machines to a transmission and it's usually people that already have problems uh, introducing too much new ATF want to know so it's not like you're gonna hurt anything if you mix this fluid and uh, it's not gonna void your warranty I know a lot of people want to know that will this void your warranty absolutely not you can do this to a brand new car if I got this car brand new I would have put it in right away myself that fluids are actually synthetic blends so even though it says full synthetic, uh, full synthetic can actually be 25% synthetic or more. So isn't that crazy, Steven? 
Yeah. Damn shysters. I know they're trying to get your uh, peanuts any way they can. So that's what the good pure stuff looks like. And uh, boy, does it feel good. So we'll be very going to flow. Taking care of his beautiful 2017. This is the Honda Civic 1.5 liter Earth Dreams technology. Very, very fuel efficient. We're gonna be doing the CVT transmission on this car. And that's right, that's the fluid we're holding here. This is 100% synthetic. There she blows, that's it. Now we're gonna let her drain down. The fluid looks pretty darn good. It's not very oxidized. Um, it's changing color a little bit. Uh, this only has 30,000 miles. So now in his hand, you see the magnet. That's a magnet on there. We're gonna clean up the call. The specific name is the Honda CF2. You'll see right by my thumb. So that's the specification of this fluid. And this happens to be 100% synthetic. Oh. Shove it in. Got it? It only goes in a little bit. That's fine. Start okay. pumping. Let's go. Grab well, the hand pump and start pumping. Wait, I have to hold. Ooh, nice and smooth. This thing's so quiet. Oh my god. So is there any difference, would you say? I just feel like it's got better handling, it's just a lot smoother, it's a nicer ride. Wow. What about the vibration of the transmission? Does it feel it isn't vibrating? It's, it's a little like, it's a little bit of a difference. Yeah, oh it's a lot of a lot of a difference. A lot of difference. And would you think that just changing half the fluid would do that? Well, no, I never knew until now. So even with a super high quality fluid like Ams oil you still want to change your transmission fluid about every 30 to 60,000 miles, depending on the vehicle. So if you're doing severe service, you're going to want to do it at about 30,000. If you're doing all highway driving, which has less wear and tear, a lot more cooling on the fluid, less oxidizing, kind of like burning butter, you can go 60,000 miles. So I wanted to mention it also times out. So fluids that just sit for a long time time out so after five years you're probably going to want to go ahead and switch that fluid anyways and now we're on to the motor oil this is the stuff that cools your motor this is the stuff that well protects it when you cold start it this is the stuff that keeps the metal separated keeps your pistons from wearing out keeps your running engine longer stronger and much quieter this right here is AMS Oil Signature Series, 100% synthetic. We'll take a look at this oil analysis clip and check out the video of us doing the oil change in my car. They make this for European cars, for diesel trucks, and all different types of vehicles. This right here is good for up to one year, 25,000 miles on one oil change, or 15,000 miles of severe service. Even out here in the heat, you can still go 15,000 miles. Challenger. Right. We got the uh, numbers, all your identification numbers. Right. Coming on down uh, to the uh, all the wear metals. All right. Everything looks good. The nickel is from the uh, valve stems. That's the same thing on my Corvette. When you do high RPM and you get any pinging and knocking, mm. it shaves a little bit of metal. So that's mm. normal. We okay. got over here. Coming down, everything else is normal. Little boron is starting to wear off. Um, some addi uh, additive metals, good. We've got our dates, uh, when it was received, the lube time, 25,000 mile oil change. The unit time, that's on the Challenger. It's got 67,000 miles on the odometer. Uh, boom. Uh, lube added one quart when we did these is uh, the viscosity change right. so 9.3 is the very bottom of a 30 weight motor oil right. his challenger took a 20 weight motor oil so you'll see SAE uh, 520 so the the hot temperature at 100 degrees Celsius 
which is what this is checked at, that's 212 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a 20 weight when it started. And in that amount of time, it went not even one full viscosity grade thicker. Obviously, if you're already having an engine leak on your car, you wouldn't want to flush it because this could make it leak a little more if it gets rid of the carbon that's blocking the gaskets. But uh, this car has no leaks, it's fine. And uh, you can do this to an old car. We've done this on a, a 375,000 mile Toyota and the engine flush made a huge difference. And there she blows. Nice solid liquid charcoal. So now we're gonna let her drain down for 15 minutes. It's for the tall hood. Whoa, I hit the roof. Oh, we had a blunder. We're out for our first test drive. A three, a two, a one. And now we're on to the gear lube. This is the 100% synthetic. And this right here is what puts the film between those gears. So the gears come together. And the only thing separating that metal is a film. Well, when you have 100% synthetic film, you have a lot less wear, less breakdown, less heat. Well, in the rear diff in this car right here in the center, that's what goes in between those gears. And the OEM fluids, a lot of people say they're synthetic. Actually, a lot of full synthetics are only 25% synthetic, and a lot of people don't know that. Well, AMSOIL happens to be 100% synthetic. This is actually the very stuff that Bobby Unser used to use in his hill climb car when he uh, used to climb Pikes Peak. Bobby Unser's a 12-time Pikes Peak champion, so definitely uh, check that out. I'll put a little video up here in the corner, a little uh, uh, infomercial of Bobby Unser talking about how this helped him out. All right. Got a little racing, trouncing around down, down here in Boulder Highway. So when to change this stuff? You're going to want to change this fluid every 30,000 miles of severe service. If you're doing uh, all highway driving, boy, you could probably go up to 100,000 miles. Now keep in mind, as soon as that film breaks down, you become metal on metal. So just know you're always better off doing it earlier than later. Here's a video clip of me doing the gear lube on my car and the diesel truck. Check it out. All you do is just squeeze a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to start squeezing in until she starts overflowing. And you'll see it run nice and clear. Once I'm happy with that, now I cork it up. And you can see how beautifully clear it is. It's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gold. It's not gold, but it's like a pure lubricant. It's, it's hard to believe, but that's what the 100% synthetic looks like. Now we're tapping our diff. We're hitting our front diff on this bad boy right now. We're gonna shoot downstairs and do it right this second. Like that with both hands. That's it. There she blows. She's all done. Here goes court number two. Hey, and we also have coolant. Definitely be sure to change your radiator coolant. You want to do your coolant every uh, 15 to 100,000 miles, depending if you're using OEM. And go ahead and check out this video on the coolant. It allows the water to get closer to the aluminum. And the closer the water gets to the aluminum, you have a better heat transfer. So your car will warm gold. And it's very smooth, it pours smooth. And uh, you'll just notice the way your motor revs, it'll rev a lot smoother. And uh, especially with more distilled water, you'll actually have a higher specific heat capacity. All right, so there you see it's 109 degrees out right here in uh, beautiful Henderson, right here on Boulder Highway. Hey, and I wanted to mention, if you'd like to try the Amsoil products, you can use my link down below. Click the show more button if you're on a laptop or a desktop 
or if you're on a smartphone, the little reverse down arrow. When you use my link, I'll get the credit. I'll be uh, your Amsoil dealer, so I can always help you with the products. If you ever have a question, you could always reach out to me. All right, I want you to check out this playlist on my personal car right here. This is all the fluids I changed on it. And a lot of people say certain cars are different and they all take special fluids. It's actually not true. Most of these fluids are all compatible with all different makes, models, and cars. So just know everything I did to my car, you can do to your car. Check out these videos. Remember to subscribe, tap that like button, share this video with a friend that uh, doesn't know much about cars so they can take care of their car in high heat temperatures. And we'll see you right back, right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers! to protection, protection, protection.